welcome to video number 10 for chapter 21, Hair Coloring. And this section is entitled, To Create Special Effects Using Hair Coloring Techniques. Special effects hair coloring refers to any technique that involves partial lightening or coloring. Coloring for special effects can be thought of as a pure fashion technique. It is versatile and exciting hair coloring service. One way you can create special effects is by strategically placing light and dark colors in the hair. Highlighting involves coloring some of the hair, uh, some of the hair strands lighter than the natural color to add a variety of lighter shades and the illusion of depth. Subtle highlights do not contrast strongly with the natural color. Light colors cause the light area to advance toward the eye, to appear larger, and to make details more visible. Reverse highlighting, also known as low lighting, is the technique of coloring strands of hair darker than the natural color. Contrasting dark areas recede, appear smaller, and, and make detail less visible. Reverse highlighting, or sorry, as you begin to expand your knowledge of hair coloring and lightening and to develop your technical ability, you'll become more creative. Your instructor will help you master the basic techniques if they show up at class. And the rest is up to you. The possibilities are limited only by your imagination and your ability to create a finished style that meets the needs of your client. There are several methods for achieving highlights. The three most frequent, frequently used techniques are the cap technique, the foil technique, and the balayage or freeform technique. We'll discuss each of those techniques in more detail. The cap technique. The cap technique involves pulling clean, dry strands of hair through a perforated cap with a thin plastic or metal hook, and then combining them to remove tangles. The number of strands pulled through determines the amount of hair that will be highlighted or lowlighted. When only a small number of strands are pulled through, the result will be a subtle look. A more noticeable effect is achieved if many strands are pulled through, and the effect is even more dramatic if larger strands of hair are pulled through. For highlighting, the hair is usually lightened with a powdered off-the-scalp lightener or a high-lift color, beginning in the area that is most resistant. The lightener is covered for processing. Once processed, the lightener is removed by a thorough rinse and a shampoo. After towel blotting, and conditioning, the lightened hair can be toned if desired. <clears throat> the foil technique. The foil technique involves coloring selected strands of hair by slicing or weaving out sections, placing them on foil or plastic wrap, applying lightener or permanent hair color, and then sealing them in the foil or plastic wrap for processing. You can also apply permanent hair color to the strands to create softer, more natural looking highlights. The same technique can be used for low lighting. When low lighting, the use of a demo permanent color is an option. Placing foil in the hair is an art. It takes practice and discipline. To make it easier, start by working to create clean section blocks on the head. Once you have perfected this, you will fully understand the difference between a slice parting and a weave parting. Slicing involves taking a narrow 1 8 inch section of hair by making a straight part at the scalp, positioning the hair over the foil, and applying lightener or color. In weaving, selected strands are picked up from a narrow section of hair with a zigzag motion of the comb, and lightener or color is applied only to these strands. There are many patterns in which foil can be placed 
in the hair. There are face frame, half head, three quarter head, and full head foiling patterns that produce different highlights in different portions of the head. The balayage technique, sometimes spelt balayage, B A L Y A G E. Uh, in the book, it's spelled B A L I A G E, uh, is also known as freeform technique involves the painting of a lightener, usually powdered off the scalp lightener, directly on a clean, styled hair. The lightener is applied with an applicator brush or a tail comb from the scalp to ends around the head. Some examples of technique for balayage, balayage yeah, are single, dual, and three-point application. After lightener is applied, cotton is placed under the strand and plastic wrap is placed around the section. Hair is then processed according to manufacturer's instructions to desired lightness. The finished effects are extremely subtle and are used to draw attention to the surface of the hair. Toning highlighted and dimensionally colored hair. When the hair is decolorized to the desired level during a highlighting, service. The use of a toner may not be necessary. However, the use of a pale, soft blonde with cool or warm, warm tones does create a finished appearance to the overall color result. When using a toner on highlighted hair, it is important to consider not only the varying degrees of porosity in the hair, but also the difference in pigmentation from strand to strand that was created by the lightening process. Although the oxidative toner will add color to the highlighter st highlighting strands, it might also cause a slight amount of lift to the natural or pigmented hair. Perform a strand test to ensure best results. To avoid affecting the untreated hair, choose from the following options. First, a non-oxidative toner, which contains no ammonia, requires developer, thus producing no lift of the natural hair color, on a, and is gentle on the scalp and hair. Next, semi-permanent color may be used to deposit color without lift. Select a color that is delicate enough to avoid overpowering the pre-lightened hair. Always check the manufacturer's color chart. Make sure that the combination of your chosen toner, chosen toner and the contributing pigment will produce the desired color results. And lastly, a demi-permanent hair color may also be used to deposit color. It will not cause additional lightening and last longer than temporary or traditional semi-permanent colors. Highlighting shampoos. Highlighting shampoo colors are prepared by combining permanent hair color hydrogen peroxide, and shampoo. They are used when a slight change in the hair shade is desired or when the client's hair processes very rapidly. This process highlights the hair's natural color in a single application. Because highlighting shampoos are made with permanent hair color, aniline is still present in small amounts. Therefore, a patch test is required. This is the end of video number 10 of chapter 21, hair coloring. Our next section is a lengthy one entitled Understanding the Special Challenges in Hair Color and Corrective Solutions. So we'll start that as video number 11.